In America, churches are losing vitality and Christians are increasingly bored, while churches in the rest of the world are vibrant and zealous. Pastors and Christian leaders are scrambling to find the root causes and then prescribe a solution. However, most of the solutions are only making matters worse. So at the Urban Ministry Institute, we are training churches and individuals to understand these causes and avoid the resulting pitfalls. For the first thousand years of the church, Christians understood who they were, what they should do, and where history was going in terms of Christ and His kingdom story. The story of God's seamless and progressive work to win back all that was lost at the fall. Or as 1 John 3.8 says, the reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. This is the already and not yet kingdom story that exalts the Son, defeats the enemy, and rescues his bride. But in recent decades, Americans employed state-of-the-art marketing techniques to simplify this gospel and make it more concise and attractive. The result of these efforts brought a rapid shift from join Christ in his kingdom to ask Jesus into your life. Jesus was quickly demoted from victorious Lord to my personal Savior, making the individual Christian the new subject of Christianity. The implication became me at the center, God there to help me. Without the wonder of Christ's all-encompassing victory and the church's participation in this cosmic drama, Americans have become easily distracted by issues of lesser importance. But instead of returning to our age-old identity as the people of the kingdom story, three individualistic methods have become the standard. The traditional method is formulaic. Believe the right doctrines, gather Bible knowledge, focus on the right moral, moral behaviors, go to church. The pragmatic method is shallow. Find out what people want, then design church programs and services to meet those desires. The emerging method is unanchored. Be relevant to today's postmodern culture. Form truth through consensus. These three methods use various forms of the same individualistic principles that caused the problem in the first place. So at Toomey, we reject these recent methods and instead we are retrieving our ancient identity, our sacred roots. Those sacred roots where the triune God created the heavens and the earth, separated out a people of his own from whom would come a champion, the Lord Jesus, who would pass his work to the church until he returns to make all things new. Where the wonder of this story leads us to worship and our worship leads us to work. So this story is revealed in scripture, telling of Christ the victor, of the evangelical mandate given to the one church living out the unity of the faith. This is what the apostles received from Christ, the apostolic witness articulated by the church fathers. It was summarized in the rule of faith and acknowledged in the ecumenical councils and creeds. So we seek what the Holy Spirit has revealed to the church in the great tradition. That faith once delivered to all the saints, which has been lived out through centuries of church history. We believe each urban church must make this story come alive in their community, retrieving the great tradition through cultural, theological, and liturgical practices that reflect the creativity of God himself. So we urge you to reject formulaic, shallow, or unanchored methods by retrieving our sacred roots. Where the Father is the author of the story, Jesus is the champion of the story, and the Holy Spirit is the narrator of the story revealed in Scripture, where a local church is a branch that grows up from our sacred roots, responding to God in theology and worship and discipleship and witness. Because once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God.